Today's secret is about sample preparation, the freezing of samples for the freeze drying. In order to make this process easier, we have created a solution. It's an accessory, a Dewar adapter, and we have the Dewar itself. For the freezing process, we first have to unplug the power cable of the B300 base. Second, we use the adapter, which looks like this. It has a clear front marking and a top marking, and we just place it onto the B300 base, just like this. Third, we use the D-bar, and we make sure that these ones, the plastic piece here, go inside the D-bar, so that we have this one fixed on the adapter of the B300. And that's it. That's how the setup looks. There are two ways to freeze a sample before freeze drying. The first and the standard method is to put the samples into the freezer and you will get this result. A flat surface and the sample is on the bottom of the flask. The second would be using a roto vapor. By using the roto vapor you get a very nicely evenly distributed area of frozen sample which then means in the later freeze drying process you are faster. The advantage of the standard process is that you can process multiple samples at a time which means you have a much faster sample preparation time. The benefits of the second process by using the roto vapor is you do less samples because the sample preparation takes longer but the freeze drying itself is significantly faster. Now I would like to show you how we freeze dry samples with the roto vapor. In order to start the freeze process with the roto vapor, we first fill in ethanol to about this level into the duar. Second, we add dry ice and we wait until the bubbles, which will come up now, will calm down a little. Third, we start the rotation and we set it to about 10 RPM and we gently go into the liquid, just like this. Later, we increase the rotation speed to about 100 RPM. The freezing process starts and we will see ice which is built inside the flask on the walls of the flask, just now. The freezing process of each sample takes about 5 to 10 minutes. Once you can't hear the cracking anymore, there's a big chance that the process is finished. You then stop the rotation and have a look into the flask if there is any liquid left. Once the process is finished, you just stop the rotation and you take the flask out. And you can see the very nice crack pattern over here and the very evenly distributed ice inside the flask. Next, I have to remove the ethanol from the flask. I use a tissue and just do it like this. And now I have my final frozen sample. So why should you use the roto vapor for freezing the samples? First, because of the larger surface, you have a faster freeze drying process. And because of the larger surface, you have a better heat transfer as well. 